one commonly comes across the term p value today we will explain p value in very simple language and make the meaning crystal clear to you p value is the short form for probability value so in epidemiology p value is probability value as we have known from previous knowledge that probability can range from 0 to 1 a p value of 0 means that there is no chance of the event happening for example getting a 7 on a six faced dais and a p value of 1 means there is a 100% chance of the event occurring like the sun will rise from the east okay okay so p value is the probability but probability of what probability of the null hypothesis being true okay so p value is the probability value of the null hypothesis being true but what is null hypothesis null hypothesis is an assumption that you begin a research with if you are comparing two groups then null hypothesis assumes that there is no difference between the groups and you have to prove the null hypothesis wrong to show that there is a difference if you are assessing a medicine then the medicine has no effect according to the null hypothesis if you are assessing the relationship between two, between two variables the null hypothesis assumes you will start your study with the assumption that there is actually no relationship between the two variables so there is no difference between the groups unless proved otherwise by having a low p value so if the p value comes out to be high that means the null hypothesis which you assumed at the very beginning is true so a high p value means that the null hypothesis is true and that there is no difference between the group or no effect of the treatment or no correlation between the two variables on the other hand if the p value comes out to be too low it means the probability of null hypothesis being correct is too low and hence we reject the null hypothesis a low probability of the null hypothesis being true and leads to rejection of the null hypothesis that is we say that the groups that are being compared are actually different from each other or the treatment actually has an effect or the variables in the study are interconnected okay high p value we accept the null hypothesis low p value we reject the null hypothesis then what is the cut off at what value do we say that probability high and at which value do we reject the null hypothesis by convention the cut off of p value is 0.05 so if p value is 0.05 or more we say the null hypothesis is true and null hypothesis is accepted and we say that there is no difference between the groups or the intervention has no effect or there is no association between the variables whatever we are studying but if the p value comes out to be 0.05 we say that null hypothesis is rejected and that any observed difference or association is taken to be a real one so how do we arrive at the p value will be covered in the next lecture